Linda Nolan, 63, has shown courage in the face of adversity ever since she first got diagnosed with breast cancer back in 2005. Last year, the singer was also told her cancer had spread to her liver, marking the third time she was diagnosed with cancer after being told in 2017 that she had a form of incurable secondary breast cancer on her pelvis. She was told by doctors that her cancer is treatable but not curable and therefore she had to undergo treatment for life. However, Linda could not help but break down last year as she found out her chemo had not done what they hoped it would do. In a new interview, Linda recounted her reaction as she received the news that her cancer treatment had not worked in the way doctors expected. I started the chemo again in September but the doctors said it hadn't done what they hoped it would do, she told the son. The tumors on my liver were enlarged and were growing, so they had to put me back on chemo again. Upon finding out she had to undergo chemo again, Linda broke down alongside her sister Maureen. Linda added, for the next two days I was a complete mess. I was crying. I needed those days to get it out of my system. The singer went on, I was thinking, will I see my great nieces and nephews? Will I see them grow up and get married? But then I thought, I don't want to let cancer win. When you get to that place where you are feeling sorry for yourself and low, something inside me goes, yes, but you will be there so don't be ridiculous. Speaking to the mirror about her 2020 diagnosis, Linda admitted that it was a scary moment. She explained, I knew when I went into the room for my appointment because I could tell from the consultant's demeanor. Dot he turned to me and said the CT scan had shown something on my liver again. I asked if it was cancer and he said yes. It's scary, I'm not going to lie. I try to be upbeat and positive but I had a really bad day when I got back. Linda continued, I told my sisters I was fine but when I got inside my house, I cried. I needed to have that cry because I'm scared to death of dying. Linda also explained during an appearance on BBC Breakfast that losing her hair due to chemo had traumatized her. She said, I've got certain side effects from the chemo. I've got pins and needles in my fingers and my toes. But it hasn't been too bad. I think for me personally I was traumatized losing my hair. At the time you feel like you're being a little bit vain but I think everybody takes it differently. For a woman losing your hair is a really traumatic thing. We're not supposed to be going around bald, 